Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I am going to give an introduction to the book of 1 Peter. This book was written by the Apostle Peter around the year 64 AD. Peter was a fisherman who was tending his nets when Jesus requested his presence. Peter was the disciple who was with Jesus for many years and was an eyewitness to many of the things written about him in the Bible. Peter saw the transfiguration of Jesus. Peter cut off the high priest's servant's ear. Peter denied that he knew Jesus three times after claiming he would die for him. He saw the crucifixion and burial of Jesus. He saw the resurrection of Jesus, and Jesus said that Peter was the rock that he would build his church on. Peter was killed by crucifixion. He told his executioners that he was not worthy to die the same way as his Lord and asked them to crucify him upside down. And they were more than happy to oblige. Peter wrote this letter, 1 Peter, to Christians who were scattered around the Roman Empire. He wrote it for a reason. Now the first few years after Jesus rose from the dead, Christians were persecuted, but really only in Jerusalem and the surrounding towns. So those Christians fled and dispersed into the Roman Empire. Also, other people like Paul went into many parts of the world on missionary journeys and converted many people to Christianity. Christians were scattered throughout the Roman Empire and lived in relative peace. But the peace was short-lived. The tyrant Nero decided to burn Rome down. He wanted to somehow destroy the entire city so that he could rebuild it however he wanted. And he had a wicked plan. He sent his mercenaries all over the city to torch it. So it burned to the ground. The people suspected him of doing this, so, like any lying monster would do, he placed the blame on the innocent. He lied and told the people that those filthy Christians did it. Because the people were obviously incapable of critical thinking, they believed the tyrant and began killing the Christians. Peter wrote this letter on the eve of Nero's widespread Christian persecution throughout the Roman Empire. Nero made feeding the Christians to the lions a common phrase. The Christian persecution in the Roman Empire was widespread and intense during those years. And Peter's letter taught the Christians how they should handle their upcoming torture and how they should live in the face of terror. Peter taught them how they could be victorious in the face of certain death. Peter started his letter explaining to the believers what they should consider the most important things to know because many of them did not have long to live. He explained the proper way Christians should relate to God and then how they should relate to fellow people. Peter then described what kinds of blessings they would receive while being persecuted and what they would receive after they were killed. Peter encouraged the believers to stay strong and reminded them God promised them a new life after this one was over. Have you ever suffered severe persecution for your faith in Jesus? Would you be ready if that day was today? Repent for your sin, turn from it, and ask God to forgive you. Place your faith in Jesus and what he did on the cross. Believe that the Father raised Jesus from the dead. God said that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus, and if we believe in our heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, we would be saved. Why don't you go ahead and do that today? And thanks for watching. If you enjoy the first Peter series, give the episodes a thumbs up and share them with someone. See you next time.